that's new. Didn't vlog it because I did it at like 12 o'clock at night, but while being restless, I actually went online and I found something. This little guy right here is a digital display that gives me AC incoming voltage and also amperages or amps consumed. So I picked this up on Amazon for about $15. I'm pretty stoked because it was very affordable and for the information that it gives you, it's pretty cool. So let's get this thing installed real quick. So this is what you currently get in that little box. It's a two inch by four inch monitor right here. And it comes with a tone ring that you put over your AC voltage. So I already went ahead and extended the leads because they're only about three to four inches and I need a lot more slack to get this thing installed. But what I want to do is quickly hardwire it with just an extension cord that I had left over. So you can see exactly what this thing looks like now and get her plugged in. And there we have it. So obviously right now there are no amps being consumed because the tone ring is not hooked up. So this is just what the digital display looks like. So this particular device does not need a ground cable, so I ended up just removing the ground right here. Our hot and our neutral. And this is 10 gauge stranded wire right here. This is the AC voltage, and here is 12 gauge stranded copper wire also, and that's gonna go right here for the tone ring. And it's got a little simple schematic back here, but it is written all in uh, Japanese, so good luck with that. So now we need a home for this thing. Right here is exactly where I want it, so I just quickly traced it, and we're just gonna do a quick plunge cut on that and get this thing fitted in. here. There we go. Alright, so down here it does require for me to turn off the breaker because we are working with live circuits. 12 volt, not really nothing to worry about. You can literally touch all the stuff right here. This right here, you will get hurt. So let's shut these breakers down. So we're going to do this one first. This is the, I believe, converter. No more power in the rig for 12 volt. We still have AC voltage, so we're gonna hit this one right here. That's gonna shut everything else down. So what I have to do is take this tone ring right here and put it over the incoming voltage on the 30 amp. So yeah, I can use the neutral or hot wire for that tone ring, so I'm gonna use the neutral. But verify that the power is off. So we are gonna take out this neutral line right here. The tone ring. breaker. Got voltage down there. Currently 123 volts coming in. Second one will be the converter. That's how much amperage the converter is pulling in right now. 0.2 amps. And then this would be my one receptacle. Vehicle's completely at rest right now with a converter draw of 2 amps. So, the install went in 
as according to plan, I guess. It was super simple. There was no instruction, so I basically just had to do a quick Google search on which one was a positive and which one was the neutral side of that little circuit. But a four wire install, like I said, two for the coil, one for neutral, and one for power. Definitely worth it in the event you are running real low on battery power or if let's say you're plugged in somewhere and you only have like a 30 amp service and you're running a bunch of things and you keep tripping the breaker you can see exactly what you can run without tripping the breaker um, and kind of dial down whatever appliances you want to actually run the rig and especially in my situation I want to test appliances that I will be using and I'll get a proper amperage uh, reading on their consumption so this is a perfect situation right here this is a little high efficient heater that I picked up last winter and um, it worked really well in the space. I really had no idea on what the consumption was or how well it actually ran. So we're looking at a resting rate of 0.3 amps right now that's being used in the coach as we speak. So we'll turn this guy on and it's not functioning. Maybe because it's tilted. Well, it says it's 75 degrees in here right now. So, let's make it 80. And we're pulling 8.4 amps right now, which is pretty good for a heater. And honestly, that's not even... Oh, here it goes. Yeah, he's running right now. Yeah, it's called a heat storm. It could be 15 degrees outside and this will warm up Chappy within 15 minutes, so. I'm pumped. I'm really surprised on the actual amperage it's pulling. I thought it'd be like right around 15 amps or so. But yeah, eight amps. And this thing does have a safety feature where it won't turn on if it's tilted sideways or upside down. I'm gonna put this down somewhere um quick install super happy quick and dirty one thank you so much for watching but cheap cool tech see you in the next one bye